New York City is entering week three of its historic mandate for anyone who wants to eat in a restaurant, drink at a bar, or work out at a large gym. While many New York businesses are following the rules, we found evidence that many others are looking the other way. Out of four eateries we walked into last week that should have asked if we were staying to eat inside and required proof of vaccination. Uh, can I stay here? Can I see a vaccination card? Only one popped the question. Statewide mixed compliance under New York's mandate for hospital staff. With 72,000 still not vaccinated at the end of the month, the governor played the religion card. But you know there's people out there who aren't listening to God and what God wants. But there's plenty of civil disobedience. A crowd stormed New York's Staten Island Mall to try to eat without proof of vaccination. There are already countless legal challenges moving through court. And it's about to get much bigger. Millions of federal workers and contractors are counting down toward a deadline to get vaccinated. And the mandate is about to expand to all private employers with 100 or more workers. Lawrence Gostin heads up the World Health Organization's Center on Global Health Law and advises the Biden administration. Many people haven't been to work for a year and a half, and they're not going to feel safe unless you have a largely vaccinated population around you. It's going to be a disaster for our health care industry and for many segments of our economy. Senator Ron Johnson is a chief critic of federal vaccine mandates. Before President Biden announced the coercive freedom robbing mandate from the federal government, uh, hospitals that were mandating vac vaccines. I I've been hearing from their doctors, from their nurses. They see the study out of Israel says that natural immunity is 13 to 27 times more effective than the vaccine. They're not going to get vaccinated. They're, they're going to be terminated. Why shouldn't people, if they've had COVID or they can somehow show they've had exposure, why should they have to also get the vaccination? It's not as robust as with a vaccine, but this vaccine is really safe and really effective. And eventually it is going to just be well accepted by the American society. We asked more than a dozen Democrat leaders in Congress for interviews, but none would agree. All declined to answer whether they support federal vaccine mandates or any exemptions. We also couldn't get interviews with CDC, NIH, or the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, which is writing the mandate rules. For Full Measure, I'm Cheryl Ackeson. And you can catch Full Measure with Cheryl Ackeson Sunday mornings at 1130 right here on CBS 21. And we'll be back with Ed Russo's final check of your forecast. Stick with us.